So, um, anyone want to do this one? Who wants to do this one? Yeah, Christine, come on. You're the president. You're the chairman of the ANC. <laughs> chairman of the ANC. Come on. Right, so, there we are. Uh, in there, we've got the Chancellor of the Ministry of Finance. Yes, so there we are. Uh, in there, we have got um, some universal indicator in water. I've put a few drops of sodium hydroxide in there, so it's exactly right. Okay. And there it is. It's called blue-green. Um, so, I'm going to ask you to put those on. And um, could you... Oh dear. <laughs> um, we're going to put it, Christine's going to put into it uh, some carbon, solid carbon dioxide. Okay? So in here, we've got some pellets of solid CO2. So do you want to just... Tip. No, wait, make a prediction about what's going to happen. What? You don't need to tell me. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you can put in a few more, actually. Oh, go on. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Okay, lovely. Thank you very much, Christine. We come for Christine. For a... <laughs> uh, my guess is that you may well have predicted that carbon dioxide being acidic, uh, it, it has neutralised the sodium hydroxide and in fact turned it to the colour of what's that? pH five. Um, what you might not have predicted uh, is this wonderful kind of. Um, bubbling, seething, spectacular effect that we get as the CO2 boils uh, and at the low temperature the water vapour in the air condenses around it. That, that's this, this thing that you get when you do an experiment and you're surprised by something is one of the great things about science. And here's a piece of work uh, from a letter to Nature um, in which this, uh, this person from Poland analysed scientific writing and prepared it with common English, regular normal English, standard English. And he found the word surprising occurs 12 times more frequently in scientific papers than in standard English. 12 times more frequently.